Close your eyes and watch your breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to give the mind a place where it can settle down with a sense of ease with the breath. As for any of the thoughts that come straying into the mind, they'll stray on. You don't have to follow them. Your only duty right now is to try to stay centered on this one thing. As we live in this world, we're subject to all kinds of powers. And if we don't have any power over our mind, how, what do we do to resist bad powers coming in from outside and in? We've got to seize the power here inside. In other words, strengthen your mindfulness so you make up your mind you're going to do something you don't forget. And then you're alert to what you're doing so you can see clearly what's happening. And if there's anything that's not going well, then you do your best to change it. That's the quality that the Buddha calls ardency. If things aren't going well, you try to maintain them. So once you've got the mind on a good topic like this, you try to maintain it. See the value of having a trained mind. See the, mind, the value of having a mind that's under your control. Because if you can't control your own mind, what can you control? When things outside that you control are controlled by the mind, but if the mind itself is not under control, then you have no control over anything. So try to get some control over your own mind so the mind can have some freedom. We're celebrating Independence Day today, and so it's good to think about what kind of independence is important. Independence of, from your defilements, that's the primary thing, because those are the things that are causing most of the suffering in the mind. The things that come from outside, those are minor compared to the suffering that you can create from within. So to gain independence, you need strength. And for the strength here, it's not that something that's just given to you. It's something that you have to fight for inside. Comes the defilements, greed, aversion, and delusion are things you've been identifying with for so long that you think that they're you. And so they sneak in and they take control. And you've got to realize that your awareness can be something separate from them, and you can stand back from them, and you can decide whether or not you want to give in to them. And if you see that they're leading to suffering, why give in? That's the kind of mind state you want to have. That's how, how we develop it, by giving it something to stay with and learning how to develop its mindfulness and its alertness and its ardency. So it knows what it's doing. And it's in a position to say yes to the good things and no to the bad ones, and not just simply go by its moods. So this kind of independence is the independence that's really worthwhile. Because if you're independent from your own greed, aversion, and delusion, it means you're going to be independent from the greed, aversion, and delusion of other people, too. It's when you've got these seeds inside you that they can make use of those seeds for their purposes, which you don't want. So make sure you don't have any fifth column inside. Straighten things out inside and have mindfulness, ardency, and alertness, and all the other good qualities that the Buddha talks about, concentration, goodwill, discernment. Put these in charge, and when they're in charge, that's when you're truly free.